What's good? It's Travis Mills, and I'm here at Hollywire. What up, Hollywire? I can't believe it. Today we got Travis Mills. What's up, dude? Thanks Welcome for to me. the studio. I appreciate it. Man, what a superstar. You, you like, you rap, you host, you act. I mean, what don't you do? I call myself a renaissance man child. That's <laughs> literally, <laughs> it's in my Instagram bio. Music is what puts you on the map, your rap skills. Yeah, right? it's crazy because everything that I do all stems from music, right? Like, whether whether it be like hanging out with artists, whether it be working with artists, whether it be making my own music, my Apple Music show, my podcast. It's like everything that I have in my life comes from music. You know, it's cool. You know, your music uh, radio show, your beats, Apple Beats One radio show. Yeah, Apple show. Music Beats One show. It's kind of weird because like the tables are turned for you because you know you walk into these interviews like today and people are asking you all these questions, but then the next thing you know you have people like Iggy Azalea and all yeah. these different superstars coming through the door for you, yeah. and you're kind of having to ask them the same questions you're asked. Like, what what does that feel like? Does it give you insight or you feel well, like? Well, I never want to ask them the same questions that I was asked because I hated most of those questions, <laughs> right? Like, all, so like that's why like no, <laughs> that's why like I think like doing shows like this and like you know. My show, those like they're fun because they're unconventional, right? I mean, look, a majority of the people that come on, I'm friends with, right? Because I've known them for so long, like we've gone through the shit together. So it's like you know, the conversations are just like old friends. What's up, homie? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I want to talk to you a little bit about your love life because it just so happens you're dating such a super famous actress, just like yourself, super famous. Madeline, yeah, she's amazing. And her show's killing it. Riverdale. And yeah. it's like you guys do all these YouTubes together. She gets me, I get, yeah, <laughs> I get, um, I get into the videos, uh, but it's really, it's really fun to do. These tattoos, you're super into tattoos, right? How many you have? I don't know, that's a hard question, because like when you connect them, they just kind of become one. Do you have any idea how many times you sat in the chair? Oh, like at least like 75, 80 hours. <laughs> I like feel like that, that like partially, like that like, makes you like more OG. Dude. I figured out your secret to your talent. The tattoos, right? Yeah. And the Tupac nose ring. Who could pull this off other than Tupac and Travis? Dude, it is my Tupac like, look nose at this. ring. Thank you it so is. much. It is, it's like. And you know, I used to have both of them pierced and I definitely had the diamond studs, just like Tupac. Bro, I have changes tattooed on my thumb. What's Tupac your favorite Pac song? Changes. Changes. Yeah, so I got a tattooed on me. Here you go. Give me some knuckles. What is it? What is it? Oh. Because I feel like every tattoo, like everyone who has tattoos, has their knuckles tattooed and they have that picture like them getting tattooed. So okay, hold on. This, we is, gotta, this is gonna be my gotta, big. We gotta think about what This we is gonna be write, my though. knuckle picture. So this is my cool, I'm OG. I have to like sit back, oh it doesn't hurt. I'm gonna put on you what I almost got on my knuckles. Boom. And I'm so happy I did. I it. love this. Okay. I love this. <laughs> this is my OG shot. I have to look all hard when he's doing it. I look like, yeah, this doesn't hurt. I do this all the time. I can rap. Oh, let's see. Oh, snap. It says converge. Converge. I'm Wait, so happy I, I didn't get that tattooed on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. You know what time it is? Time to play Holly Words with Travis. You ready, bro? I'm ready, dude. Let's converge. <laughs> Ooh, what's your morning routine? Okay, my morning routine is easy. I wake up at like 7.30 in the morning. I go downstairs. I make a cup of coffee. Go upstairs, open up my laptop, smoke a little bit emails, go downstairs, make another, I'm having like three cups of coffee before I leave the house. I feel that, Yeah, I yeah. feel that, I'm with that. And I'm, I probably should drink some water and stuff. Is um, Madeline a big coffee drinker? She'll have like one cup, um, but literally we wake up, drink coffee, and then get back in bed and watch YouTube videos. Do you guys have a puppy or anything? Uh, we, I, yeah, I have a dog, Fig, and it's, Fig? it's her dog by default. Yeah, it's her dog too now by default. Ah, I love uh, his name's Fig Newton. Yeah. yeah, he's really cool. He's a min, he's like a min pen terrier. Does he sleep in your bed with you? Oh yeah, he hogs the bed. <laughs> he like literally, we'll post pictures too. And when she goes to Vancouver to film, like he'll sleep on her pillow, and like I'll wake up and this fool will just be like, like literally just looking at me. I'm like, all right, bro. <laughs> Sorry, Madeline, it's all right. Yeah. I'm, I'm cool here. I got he's, yo, he's crazy, man. Oh yeah. One dollar. One dollar. Celeb, oh, my girlfriend. Easy. Easy. Okay, celeb crush, man crush, celeb man crush. Let's make it a little bit more crazy. Oh, that's, oh man, uh, Joe Rogan. 
Joe Rogan, what a good call. Joe yeah. Rogan, bring Travis Mills on your podcast. Oh my God, ASAP. that would be... He would kill it. Michelle, that's what we need. Rogan. Joe Rogan. Joe, Joe Rogan, Rogan podcast. Your ADHD podcast you do, uh, I watched the Gary V one, I know you just dropped another one. David Dobrik, It's the yeah. same vibe, it's the same vibe. You're just spitting realness, you're just bringing out positive things, practical things, like telling people what they need to hear, maybe don't wanna hear, but then you just change some things. And I love that you gave, give the platform for that. So. I mean, I like I like having the podcast because I get to have people like Gary on, you know, Gary Vaynerchuk, and, and he's so inspiring. And I know for me, when I was like going through all my shit, that was someone who like I watched every day, I listened to every day. And then, you know, I told him like the first time we hung out, I was like, yo, like, I love, dude, I love you. I don't watch your shit anymore because I'm too busy now. And he's like, that's my goal. You know, he's like, my goal is for you to consume all my content and then like get on your fucking own path to where like you don't watch it anymore because you're so busy doing your thing. Shout out to Gary um, V. So yeah, and so like if I can bring that value to anybody else, you know, like that, that's awesome for me. All right guys, that's all the time we got. Converge. Trav, you the dude, man. Yeah, thank you. Later, Hollywire.